G'day guys, today's video is a step-by-step -step tutorial for how I do personalized listings with Printify. So I'm gonna share with you two different ways and it is gonna be an in-depth tutorial for how to use Printify with Etsy. So I'm excited to be working with Printify with this video. Printify is my main print provider and personalized items are massive on Etsy. So I wanna share with you how you can do it with Printify and Etsy. First off, let's start off in Canva. So thinking on the Christmas theme, I've just typed in retro Christmas tree because we know retro is popular and we'll go with this one. Now I know someone will ask me, am I allowed to use that on a t-shirt? So if you just click the three dots up here and then you go to information, it's free for Canva Pro. I have Canva Pro, I've got a link down below if you want to use that as well. What's allowed? So here, use this media safely in a Canva design for a wide range of personal and commercial uses. But as you can see there, it's allowed. So here's the item. And then what I'm doing is I'm adding something to it. So I'm not taking credit for the design as if I just created that myself. So if you look down here, don't resell, redistribute or take credit for standalone media. So I'm not doing that. I'm going to add something to the design. So if we click T for text, and then let's go with a family. So if we go with a family name, there's two ways you can do this. You could do a pretend name like Cooper family, or you could do custom family name. And then if we come up here, let's have a look. Popular font that I really like is Hallimum. So here we go. And then just make it as big as you want it. With this design, you could go deeper with it. You could do the date. You could do the wording on a curve. Like if you wanted to make it a curve, if you go here to effects in Canva, then curve, and then you can just bring it back a bit or turn it the other way. So let's leave that like that, custom family name. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to download it. Transparent background, download. Okay, so if we come over to Printify, now there's two options here. It's literally like a book, choose your own adventure. There's two ways you can do this. So if I go to Canva and if I go to mockups, so if I go to Canva in folders, I have all my mockups. So I have 60 mockups. So I, so that's how I keep it organized. Okay, so here's one of the mockups I'm gonna use. So if I just go to uploads and all right, so then I've uploaded again, click it, put it over here on the mockup. Make her a bit bigger, too big. Bring it just under there. Yep, that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is just turn down the transparency so it looks like the dye is going into the t-shirt. It's not super sharp. There we go, and then download. So next what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go over to Etsy and just create a listing with this. So to create a listing, honestly, one of the easiest ways to do it is just to go and copy another one. And then if you slide down, you've got to put in the title that another company or person creates it. It's a finished product, it's made to order. Um, if I search down, I do manual renewal options. The description box will be the same, the details about the fabric, tags I will change, and then publish copy. Now, when the order comes in, it'll come in an Etsy just like normal, and because I have my Printify account linked, then if I go to orders and go other orders, then that's where it'll show up. So I've got a few here already. Then. When the order comes through, you then create the product in Printify. So this is a great way to do it if you're not sure if it's gonna sell, but you wanna put out some listings on Etsy. So then you would go to my products. If you've already done a Bella canvas with a white t-shirt in it and what other colors you're gonna use, then I would literally just duplicate it. But if not, if you're starting from scratch, then you can come through this way, through the catalog and add what you need. But if you're gonna duplicate, that's or you need to press right there. Then you'd go into that listing and adjust the design how you want. So for instance, if we go back to going this way because it's the first time you've done it, then I would go Monster Digital. Once they put the order in, you would come back here and say if they're saying they would like Cooper's Family Christmas. 
There you go, Cooper's Family Christmas. Then just change it up here, then download it, then come back over into printer, and now you're using their personalized one. Put it in there like that, and then click preview. Now, I do like to get proofs on my personalized items just to ensure that the spelling's 100% correct, even though I just copy and paste what they've written, I still like to just double check. So I take a screenshot like that, and I send it to them in Etsy in a messenger, and just say, hi, can you please review this proof? And then we're just going to change that up there to Cooper's family. Because it's a personalized item, you can just go straight to catalog, t-shirts, find the one you want in the color you want. So because it doesn't matter the cost or anything, if you just come straight in here to catalogs, then you can go start designing and put the Cooper's family PNG in this way. That's the first way you could do it. The other way is you can push it all through. So you could go start designing. We could add in our custom family name here. And then we could choose the colors that we'd like, maybe like ash, natural, the peach, athletic heather, heather ice blue, pink. So we go with those. So then if we've got those colors there, didn't work. Or you could add the colors in this way. So you can go, yep, we'd like some natural. Now we want athletic heather. So there's two different ways you can add the colors that you want. So the green box is 13 in width, but if I actually want to find out exactly how big the image is, I just duplicate it. And then if I want to make it out to 12, which I do, then I just go, okay, it's not 12 yet. Let's make this bigger and go back here. Christmas tree, still not there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Or oh, it's more centered, it's not centered. Still not 12. Just kind of guessing here. That'll do. Then we want to delete this one that I was just using as a measuring tool. Make sure it's centered. Save the product. Now, if I wanted to do this as a custom family shirt and send them all through, and the reason I may want to do this is I don't have all the mock-ups for all the colors. So sometimes what I do is I literally just screenshot this and I am not the only one who does this. <laughs> <laughs> so people get an idea and then you would publish it it would come through in Etsy when the order came through so the order would not be in other orders this time if they bought through this one it would be in your orders but you would still have to edit it you would go into your orders you would edit the order and then you would change the shirt to the personalized shirt that they have approved so we would just go edit and you can do that, all you have to do is click on their name and you can go in and you can edit it. So that's how to do it that way. So let's now go to a notebook and how we were gonna personalize that. So if I go product, if I go catalog, and then we would just, if we're doing this same kind of thing, we would just want the truck. File, download, take that. And then if we come back into Printify, once that's downloaded, my device and then we've got the truck so the second way for personalizing it is here so if you click add to design you can do custom text and you could just use some text that they've got here they've got some options so here's one we could use this one and we could go cooper family memories something like that there's different colors you can use, so we can change it. Oh, <laughs> white on white, that doesn't work. You know, pink, or oh, let's go red. Then we can make it smaller. And we can make it like this. So that's the way of doing it. Coopers. Family memories. There we go. 
Then, once you had that done, you could once again save it and send it through and publish it in Etsy. But when the order came in, you would just copy this one so that you're not changing the one that's connected to Etsy. And then you would change the name each time. So when they've written the name in the personalized box in Etsy, you would just copy and paste it here. So copy and paste it and there it is. So that's the second way you can personalize items. And it's what works for you. There's only so many different fonts you can use here. So if you have a really specific vibe or aesthetic, then you may just want to do the whole thing in Canva and then each time just change the name, save it and send it across. So I really hope that in-depth tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.